Hi all, I have an amazing course to show you today. This is at Chasuble Pawns on the Attack. It's by Alan B. Who is Alan B? He's a PhD, a very intelligent guy, and he's done a number of courses, and his average rating is actually 4.8 out of 5, based on 807 user ratings across all courses. Some of these are paid for, but for those on a tight budget, there are a lot of free ones here. On the Attack series is absolutely marvellous, and it's free. <clears throat> All free if you click in, get it for free. Get it for free. So let's have a look at Pawns on the Attack. The structure is basically Pawn Chat Mating in two moves. Uh, three or more moves, how they set up Chatmate for other pieces as an important piece uh, for tactics and combinations, and Pawn Endgames. So if we click Browse, we'll see that structure. And I've selected uh, my favorites. I'm going to show you my favorites. So uh, let's have a look at this position. This was uh, Peter Zvidler playing white against Magnus Carlsen playing black. Magnus finished off the game spectacularly here, uh, thanks to Peter Zvidler being a generous and nice guy as well. Black to play. Can you guess? OK, check. And now we have a nice chat mate. So Peter Villa, a very, very good sport though to allow that in, in an actual game. So these are all from actual games. That's something to emphasize as well. Uh, so less theoretical. Now here is uh, one, of, one of the favorite themes on the King's Crusher channel, which I have t-shirts for. <laughs> okay, Rook H8 check. And now we deliver chat mate with that form pawn F6 form pawn chat mate. The next one is a celebrity on Lee Chess with over 30,000 followers, Andrew Tang, who uh, not so long ago was an IM but now is a GM. And so he is uh, actually uh, on the receiving end on this particular occasion for pawns on the attack. Uh, so the opponent played Rook H. A check and the killer check is being delivered by the pawn uh, and that's that's an interesting thing actually to, to mention if you go through these courses you'll maybe during an actual game you could select you know what will be uh, delivering the, the what piece or pawn will be delivering the killer check mate so each of these courses could you know give you training for awareness that even the humble pawn in this particular course can deliver the check mate quite often or set it up by taking away escape squares uh, so okay let's have a look at another example so here how can we deliver check mate with a pawn well we'd want to play g3 so can you guess what white plays here if i give you five seconds to pause the video Okay, Rook takes h6 to drag the queen away to unpin the pawn, and then we have g3 delivering the checkmate. Okay, here is now a cute one with uh, one of my favorite ideas in chess. Can you guess? It's an absolutely lovely queen sack, queen g6 check, quite nice. The pawn delivering the checkmate there on taking and check mate. So the killer check being delivered by the pawns. Here, this is sometimes um, difficult to estimate when pawns liberate the pieces. Michael Steen in Simple Chess said uh, the pawns are the fundamental constraint of the pieces. And here we have a situation where, in fact, uh, the pawn does liberate another piece. So it's not the strength of itself, but it, how it gives strength to other pieces when it liberates. So we have queen d5 check. And can you guess the liberating move I'm talking about? Okay, the pawn itself is delivering the checkmate, but the bishop is being liberated, cutting the escape squares here. Okay, so here is on from the more advanced than mating twos. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. Now this is uh, kind of a little bit funny, actually. If I give you the clue, uh, <laughs> if you might need it, if I give you a few seconds, staircase is the clue I'd give. Okay, quite an attractive staircase mechanism. Uh, which involves a killer, you know, check from a pawn at the end. So bishop takes d4, and now queen f6 is not the right move. Queen h6. So queen h6, and now queen 
h8 check and now the quick the king's being brought up the board systematically not being allowed to go back so it goes to here this position is where we've covered the king's escape squares and the killer check is given by the pawn so once we've set up that you know the taking away the escape squares the killer pawn delivers the checkmate here's another nice one of my favorite ideas in chess can you see what white plays here very very nice Okay, a lovely queen sack. Check out the forcing moves, even the outrageous ones. This uh, basically means g5 check. The pawn's taken away the king from h5 as, as an escape square. We can deliver checkmate with this. There, checkmate. Fun stuff. And here's another nice one. Um, so, Napon Miyachi delivering a checkmate here. You might want to pause the video. <clears throat> Okay, it starts off with a check here, and now queen d1 check. And now we really dearly want to play d4, so can you guess what black plays here? Because otherwise we've really cut off escape squares now, so the killer checkmate is first the prelude, is to drag the knight away from d4. So now d4 is actually checkmate. Here's another example of pawns uh, like liberating uh, pieces sometimes as well pawns and pieces being liberated so when we unblockade pawns then they become a lethal weapon of choice as well so rather the piece liberating the pawn here we have queen g2 now a key move coming up here knight d5 check and now the pawn is liberated actually with so f4 is the killer check and mate now here's another example of piece and pawn being liberated so black to play if i give you five seconds to pause the video rook takes b2 and now so how can a pawn liberate a key piece in this position for a deadly checkmate okay rook b1 killer forcing move and now c2 opens up that bishop so that's the real beauty of the pawns as well that they are the fundamental constraint of the pieces as steen says in simple chess here is a just in the nick of time example uh, so in this position white plays not king e6 actually there's a way of threatening a mate in one and it looks as a hold on a sec black has this resource to try and queen the pawn so actually guess what we can do here which is quite funny given the time limit of the pawn potentially queening we can take here and now we can set up the king opposition which is a great mating idea in a lot of end games so we're taking away escape because of the king for the final killer checkmate to be delivered by the pawn and that's the real beauty of these courses by alan on this on the attack series that you're always looking out for you know the pawn the, the you know or in say it was knights on the attack you look out for the knight as the weapon of choice the final weapon of choice uh, for delivering the killer checkmate or the rook or, or setting up i assume um, they've all got the you know the basic structure throughout so here uh, so black to play here so this is a nice one of unlocking the potential of pawns first with a spectacular move can you guess if I give you five seconds okay the pawns really have a loss to expand was it Fisher that said that h6 and now this pawn can can move so all these possibilities opened up by the queen sack the rook's been taking away uh, escape squares, but the killer check being delivered by the pawn. Now here, I put a, a note on this, the final killer check being given by a pawn in this position. Okay, a humble pawn, how can it do that here? Well, okay, check. And in fact, this pawn is good for g6. We can drive the king to h4. We've really got the escape squares covered. Killer checkmate delivered by the pawn. There you go. So g3 
if you ever do streaming or videos you might want to sort of especially live streaming you might want to dare the audience i always wondered about that some some people dare the audience yeah uh, tell me the piece to chat mate with i always thought that's actually a difficult challenge maybe it's something i should be doing uh especially chat mates with the pawns seems unlikely here uh this is amazing van der will <laughs> uh really uh was on the receiving side it seems here so black uh to play bishop takes f2 forcing move to start off with bishop g4 another forcing move now the king might be going to c4 so actually here dragging the king to e4 without the king going to c4 for the killer check to be delivered by the pawn so all by force not yet though that the king's got f4 but now is it a killer pawn actually it's not a checkmate by the killer pawn it's actually knight g6 here because uh, if g5 there's bishop takes g5 here so actually in this particular case it's knight g6 which is checkmate here's an example by maxim vachir the graph so against garwin jones okay this is quite amazing how forced it is if i give you five seconds white play okay rook h5 and now we've got check it's all running with checks actually uh so here you might wonder hold on why is it running with checks here uh, there's a peculiarity here of the position which makes it intriguing but we really want to improve the position of the rook to set up the pawn more so in fact the check here is a luxury we can afford for here and now putting the king on h7 means g6 is with tempo with check and the rook's in position to actually deliver the final chat mate so wonderful stuff here is another lovely example so in this position white play can i if i give you five seconds pause the video okay queen f8 check and now we have rook takes and now we can actually play knight f6 and now h5 putting the king in a very precarious spot so the pawns have really set up the checkmate here for bishop e3 check mate so another wonderful example a queen sack uh so let's now just briefly check out some pawn tactics a couple of examples there uh so pawn tactics in general from that chapter uh so here liberating the pieces d6 it's not the, the squares itself but the piece it liberated uh so on that diagonal and now in fact bishop c4 pins the queen so we can win the queen there so yep and here is another more subtle uh, liberation of the pieces a great fun one black to play if i give you five seconds okay bishop takes f3 and the funny thing in here is queen takes because the pawn move opens up the rook so always look out for the pieces that are being liberated when you do pawn moves they are one of the most remarkable underestimatable resources on the chessboard the pawns for how they can help other pieces as, as steen says the fundamental constraint of the pieces and here one vital lesson from end games black to play here okay so you should know this definitely about the opposition sometimes you need to drive the king out so not f3 but king here getting the opposition so we can get the pawn to its queening square very easily now so i'm finishing off there so a few end game lessons vital end game lessons so we go back and just have a look at the structure uh, so a great structure for the course so based on mating two mating three or more pawns that set up chat mates pawn tactics some end games and, and also there's instructive games here in these chapters to check out so uh i hope you're excited by this i think 
I've really started thinking now I should go over all of his courses to check out you know the final killer check you know by the Knights the Rooks to get practice with chatmates even more so a fantastic resource there to check out so that bitly link more intu intuitive than usual this time pawns on the attack tell all your friends pawns on the attack bitly pawns on the attack okay all the link in the description so simple as that thanks very much